Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Ross Patterson Revolution! Brought to you by BlackRifleCoffee.com Ooh, it's Grammy nights. Graham Grams. Isn't that, that's what they call it, right? The Graham Grams? Yeah. I think, uh, ooh, that's a far reach for me for the camera, too. Jeez. <laughs> Whoa. Ooh. Ooh. Mm, sometimes you just got to throw your hair in a <sighs> bun. And do it, do and it right. just do it right. He's got a hoodie on today. There was, there's a little nip in the air. Happens. We had, we had 70, what, eight degree weather for three days. It was yeah. amazing. I was on the, I went to the beach. Yeah. Took my child to the beach. Now, got a little nip at the heels. Sure. Um, got the Black Rifle coffee hoodie on. The Wooby hoodie's out, by the way. Oof, I want it. Wait, it's like up live? Oh, yeah. Yep. Ooh. Well, only if you are a subscriber to that oh, coffee okay. club of the month okay. program. I've been telling everybody about this, and uh, I'll let you in on a secret. I'll let the audience in on a secret. Ooh. Matt, Matt Best and I, obviously one of my beef fries in this world, uh, we collaborated on a song last month, uh, Red Lobster song. Um, that, was, that was Rad Cheddar Bay Biscuits rap. Yeah. We're back. Uh, we, we collabed on another one for okay. Valentine's Day. I can't say the name of it. It would give it away. It would give it away. Sure, it would sure, give it, I sure. I mean, just the title of it would give it away. Um, anyways. It's super fucking awesome. And in the video, you're going to see the Black Rifle Coffee Whoopie hoodie, and it will be everything you've ever asked for in this world. I can, I can promise you that. And if you're a member of the, the, the Coffee Club of the Month, it is available to you now. And boy, is that fucking thing going to sell out. Most comfortable hoodie on the, on the goddamn planet. But uh, yeah, uh, it's, it's, uh, there's still a few more weeks left to win. Like it's, har- it's hard when you go through, you know, a nice four day stretch oh. of like 78 where you're like, oh, I don't need this anymore. I mean, I was getting ready to put these away, these fucking yeah. hoodies. And then boom. No, no, you're not, Ross. Welcome, I was welcome out back. there like catching the sun yeah. for like an hour. Being You like, have a nice glow to you. You have a nice tint. Well, I did three days out in the sun with the hour timer on. Okay. Because it's a long time for a white, a white person. But you know that I'm like, once the sun comes out, I... I'm not white. Yeah, yeah. Like it's an Italian kind of doesn't burn. Sure. It's weird. Yeah. In my real life, I'm a fair skinned white lady. Yeah, 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 yeah. But when summer hits, for yeah. some reason, I don't ever wear sunscreen or anything. Yeah, I can, I can get tan, but I still it's can't horrible. go past an hour. I can't go past an hour. And I'm, I'm very cognizant of that, of like, all right, great. Where you can roll out all day and be like, what the fuck, man? Were you just out there for three or four hours with no, yeah. s- with no SBF on? Right. And I just get like a deep great tan right? yeah 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 i, I get, mean i, I do get, get a, a decent, first burn yeah. I get, yeah i get a decent tan but it takes a long it's it's the whole summer you know and then i do i get i'm the, looking good around august sure you know where sure. it's just like right all before right before yeah, you dip yeah, out. yeah 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 those are those are my best months like august september where you're like oh shit oh okay yeah sliding um, right into thanksgiving yeah, yeah, like, yeah. A, and then boom, it's all fucking then you're downhill. Ready for the sweat. Obviously, that cart goes downhill real quick. Sure. You know, this cart isn't going down real quick. Is uh, Jennifer Aniston? Jesus, she's she turned fifty last night. She looks great. Five zero. Um, Jay Anus had a big party last night. Is that that's what they call her, right? They call her Jay Anus. Oh, I was like, no, no, is no. that someone else? No, no, that's mm. they don't call her. Never, huh? I've ne- I've never heard it, but you know I'm I'm Cuz like out Alex Rodriguez is A-Rod. Sure. Um, you know, I they don't call her Jay Anus. Man, that's huh. uh 
Strange. I'll have to check that. Yeah, peep it out because uh, Jay yeah. Anus had a big uh, big birthday party last night. 5 0. 50. When I read that, I was like, holy fucking shit. Right. She's 50 years old. Jay Anus is 50 years old. Looking good. It's crazy. You know what's even crazier, though? Hmm. It was a special guest at that birthday party last Stop night. Stop it. He was not there. He was there. He was not there. Brad Pitt was there. He was there. He came. I was like, whoa, boy. Is the Inquirer right for once? I don't know what's happening. I will say this. If they did get back together. Holy mother of God. It would be like. Millennials won't understand this. Gaga. No, I think they will, actually. Do you think it was Here's right? why. Friends is still friends. We did an episode on this. Why yes. Friends is still friends. Even the fucking babysitter. All they watch is friends. All they watch is friends. But will they understand the majesty of Jennifer and Brad together? Yes, and the I, th- I think they up? will because that was that was through that that friends period, right? And then it, here's the here's the other thing because I was like, man, does he have something coming out? Is he? And I was like, oh shit, he does. Yeah, the, He's got the Tarantino, Tarantino movie coming yeah. out this summer. Yeah, and I was like, man, that's perfect. So he avoided the paparazzi for the most part. They caught you know like his head walking in, you know. Yeah, so there's shots of it. So he was actually there. This isn't like a, you know, some rumor. At or, the very or a story. least, the fact that they're friendly, even if they're not together, right? Yeah. Yeah. Friendly. Yeah. Why? Why what are they he friends? Did, what he did to her. Sure. Publicly. Yes. And brutally for yeah. a long time. Yeah. Um, I thought about the that. The forgiveness. I thought about it. So he's going through a, a, an unbelievably nasty divorce right now. Sure. And she is just. Uh, he, w- th- there is a possibility that he said to her, look, I married the devil and I apologize for everything I did to you in life and blah, oh, blah, 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 blah. Oh, it's the blah. only way. Right? That they're e- That's oh, what I was yes, thinking about. Yes, yes, yes. It was, a, it was a conversations. I'm sure many of them, every time we, they kind of pop, prop, 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 blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Catches them out. Yeah. Paparazzi. A, you know, at a, you know, having a little dinner or whatever. They're talking about that. Noshing. Sure. Just a quick just nosh. Just a quick nosh. Just a quick little bitty bite. Um, they're talking about that, right? One would think. When you say stars, they're just like us. Yeah. In a way, they kind of are. Like. Kind of. That conversation Oof. would happen, you know, I think with normal exes. Right? Yeah. I'm gonna, Where it's I, like, hey, I'm, I'm sorry, can we just move on? But yeah. they just have to do it publicly, publicly. Well, they're both in their 50s now. Yeah. Yeah. You're, you're having some. Are I you don't drinking know, over there? What? You got a little Irish coffee going on over there? It had to be done. Mom party this weekend. Yeah. I had two glasses of wine. Yeah, you went out. You went I out. I had two glasses of wine Your last sister night. came in town. Uh, she yep. was drinking straight lead slingers last night. Just right out of the bottle. She's in her early 30s. Yeah. Um, and single. Yeah. And, you yeah. know. Yeah. So a, a quick little Jameson around four is NBD. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I is, mean? Is, is that 34 age? early? Is that early 30s still? Or are we still? Look, I don't. Is that a Katy Perry? <sighs> I'm a little girl sitch here. Kind of, right? I mean, <laughs> wasn't she? She was 34 when she was like, I'm so young. I'm a baby. I'm just a little baby. I don't know about stuff. Yeah. So I guess I'm a little bit, uh. I'm skewed. I guess she's not that much younger than I am, but why does she feel so much younger? Probably because I have kids. two fucking kids yeah. and a barrel and train. Um, yeah, the old, <laughs> the old, the old beasy and cheesy. Yeah. <laughs> the old beans and cheese. Yeah. The old ball and chain. I don't call you ball and chain. I call you the beans, old beans and, and cheese. cheese. Uh, There's a lot of people there last night, though. There was uh, Robert Downey Jr. Um, that, that would be, I'd like to, he'd be fun. No, partying. not anymore. Yeah, no, not anymore because he's sober. I don't think he would be that fun. I think no. he's fun until around nine. Yeah, 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 where he's just like, all right, everybody's when starting to do coke shows and up, shit. Yeah, and now when I he get first shows up, yeah. he's had a little espresso, yeah. right? He's yep. good to go, good to go. And then he sort Sharp, of slips funny, out. And then yeah. as soon as somebody starts dumping out he sort of that Bolivian marching powder right on the back of is that porcelain you? toilet. Is it you that told me he's probably still kind of using a little bit? No, I... I I can tell Something. you. So pills? I no, no. I oh. I fucking you know I worked his party, his get out of jail party. The, that was a long time ago. Oh I yeah, wonder, yeah, yeah, yeah. I wonder yeah, yeah. if right now he's able to. My one of my first jobs in L.A. was I hosted 
it was at his agent's house, his agent's house, and mm-hmm. it was twelve. Um, it was like 12, 10, 12 people. I don't know. Uh, and they literally picked him up from jail, drove him to the house, and then he had okay. dinner. His first dinner and all that shit. I was there. It was so it fucked so up. Much. I was serving them. I was the bartender. Um, God, and it was catered. And I know. I know. So I know all of the the shit right. with him. And by the way, I'm I'm a huge fan of his. Huge. Even seeing him because like I just signed an NDA for all this shit of like behind the scenes. I, the only reason I can talk about now, the agent's dead. Right. So his agent's dead. None of that exists anymore. Um, but I have nothing negative to say about him. He is a rad dude who was just uh, wanted to be a, just a working actor. He yeah. went through his drug issues and all this shit. But uh, well, he came by it honestly. I mean, his dad was giving him fucking drugs. At yeah, like, like age twelve. Eight. Yeah, so it's crazy. Like, you know, the fa- if he didn't do drugs or have a drug problem, something else would manifest. But the re- So the reason why I bring all of this up is not to fucking name drop, but it is he is one of those guys. I can I can tell you this, like there's got to be some vice for like, you know, how people drink like tea or they get into the crazy diets or whatever yeah. to replace it with. Yeah. He's not a guy that can just casually do anything anything so it, like i don't believe any story of like oh hey he he, he does pills or does one thing or whatever right. i don't i don't believe it because i think it would send him off the fucking rails like i think he enjoyed it that much that one thing would send him off the rails and i think that that wife who he married who's the producer she's a big producer yeah and totally normal yes and, and she like, fucking saved his life yeah and it kept him on the straight and narrow and, and continues sure to some kind of contract uh, who knows? But I think she's with him almost every day on all these sets and, and all of this shit. But uh, yeah, man, I, I just he's not that dude who who can just casually take an oxy and see what happens for the night. Like, there's no way. Right. There's no way. OK. So and that's just that's my personal opinion. So I think you're right on this of like, all right, nine thirty, ten 10 o'clock rolls around. As soon as that first line gets dumped out somewhere, he can hear it. It's like the he's the Coke whisper where it's just right. like, uh, uh. Fuck stall three. Oh mm-hmm. god damn it, they're in the back room. It's they're like, not even ding, the, and they're like, not even in the front restroom. They're in the back restroom. Echoes, no one would know yeah, if I went back yeah, there yeah. and just kind of did a gummy with sure, the rest of sure. whatever's left. Like that type of shit. So I think you're you're right on that. Reason- I only know that because that's how I am. I have a burst of energy right when I get to the party, right? Yeah. Before anyone's really totally there and yeah. in it. Yeah. So not everyone gets to really witness my majesty. You're and like a meteor, by, con- like uh, hurtling towards Earth. It, it's going to burn out before it, sure. it it nukes the entire city. So, like, don't worry about it. You yeah. might see a bright light in the sky for a second. That's you. That's me. A bright light for a second, and then boom, you're gone. Yeah. I don't like to overstay <laughs> my welcome anywhere, you know? It's very much like a... Yeah. An in and out. Um, a shot of life, if you will. The, the rest of the, the party was Reese Witherspoon. Sure. Snoozy, you know, I'm sure she had a couple of glasses of barefoot. Oh, she and then... brought some homemade pecan bars or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Randy her... Gerber. Okay. Straight pimp. You know, that guy was drinking, you know, three fingers of tequila. Oh, for sure. Sipping. Sipping and good to go for the entire night. Four in the morning. Probably mm-hmm. had a joint mm-hmm. uh, on the way home. Like, yeah, he's great. Sure. That guy's great. Sure. Married to Cindy Crawford. Pharrell Williams. I don't know P. Williams at all. I, have, I, don't, I don't know anything about him. All I've heard is like hardworking stories. Of him in the studio, but I heard he's on the up and up. So I, eh, who knows? Uh, now, th- th- are each this... one of these people in some way friends with Aniston? That's what I was trying to tie it to. So here's what leads me to the next person, right? Okay. For the fiftieth, here's where I get, I got jealous. The the first the first of these people, eh. sure, they're gonna be at everybody's no Hollywood bigs. This is what this is what sent me to of like, oh my god, I wish I was friends with Jay Anus. Um, it's Keith Richards. Was Keith there? Richards was there. And I'm like, oh, what is the connection my God, there? I don't know. I don't know what that is. And when I saw that, that's when I became enraged with jealousy of like, man, why am I not famous enough to get invited to Jay Anus's birthday party so I could hang with Keith Richards? Because let's face it, out of everybody I just named so far on this guest list, right? That's the one guy who's looking for a party buddy, brother. And you know that that's me. That's the, that's the yeah, governor. There's no one else there. No, because like, here's the rest of the list. Gwyneth Paltrow. <laughs> snooze, goop, goopy jeans. And she was there and Brad was there too. Yeah. Uh, Katy Perry. <laughs> snooze, goopy. Like she doesn't but party. Why, though? Orlando Bloom. Boring. Clooney. 
with with Amal, you know, they had the polite drinks, but they weren't. They're, they're not going hard. Well, I see David that Arquette. Connection. David Arquette is going hard. Oh yeah. Uh, like that's not a doubt. Like all right, he's fine. Mm-hmm. Courtney Cox, obviously, friends connection. Uh, obviously. Da- but David and Courtney Cox are David Arquette. They're they're divorced and they must be divorced, friendly. but they must be cool. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Barbara Streisand. God, if she walked into the if, into a party I was at, I would fucking lose my shit. With excitement, I know Mm-mm. you would die. Mm. Don't come no, around. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I would shit my pants. Don't bring around the clouds. Her. Yeah, and then she, and then if she goes, oh my gosh, there's there must be some type of problem with the plumbing here. I'd be, I'd just turn to Streisand and go, no. Seeing your face makes me shit myself, and uh, and literally, I m- I might go home and paint a portrait of you with with my own feces afterwards. That's how much I hate you, and then just drop it off your doorstep. Interesting. Can't stand Barbara Streisand. Hmm. And I know that you might say, hey, Ross, that's a little graphic. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but the Brad and Gwyneth connection is, is strange because Brad caught her cheating on him. Gwyneth? Yeah. With? On the set of uh, Sliding Doors. I forget what that fucking guy's name with was. With the other guy? With the main guy from Sliding I, I Doors? I think so, yeah. So. All okay. right. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's a weird thing, but, uh, but what everybody used to say, cause we, one of our friends, I'm not going to say who it was, but he's been on drinking bros before used to live with Brad Pitt in the early days. Okay. Early, right. Like before he was famous. Okay. When he was smoking fucking 10 foot bongs from the second, you know, from the balcony inside their apartment. Sure. He said, he was like, dude, both of them together were cool. They just smoked weed, drank wine, talked about architecture and all that other shit. Aniston and Brad? Yes. So would it surprise me if they got back together later on in life? No. It wouldn't I don't know why he broke up with her in the first place. I, I've never gotten the allure of Angelina Jolie besides the Gia days. Like, that's it, where I was just like, oh, fuck. The rest I of it. see her ha- as as a mistress, where it's like, yeah, if he hooked up with her, right, I would understand that. But the like wanting to start a huge family with an Angelina Jolie doesn't make sense. It, that's a really masochistic way, Big leap. to live your life. Yeah. Um. So yeah, but like I've told you before, from someone that had like worked on their house when they were together at is, Jay Anis's house, when Anis. And Pitt. Yeah. Annis and the, oh, oh, when they were together. Annis and the Pitt had a house together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He worked on the house and was like, she just seemed crazy, wanting to fight with him all the time. And it was just like a crazy, he was like, it didn't seem like what everyone thinks of her. And then she just can't get it together relationship wise. So you have to wonder, is it her? Or is it them? Right? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know that answer. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. She's had a lot of failed yeah, oh yeah. relationships, yeah. right? Yeah. And at some point, the common denominator is her. Yeah. Because we all, look, we all meet those people in real life. Where you, you, we all have friends okay. who, who just can't, all they do is talk about their, their failed relationships and yes. exes and all yes. of that stuff all yes. the time. Uh, and when they do, you're like, yeah, uh, 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 yeah you ever think it might be you? Crazy yeah. And then pants. all this, all this talk now of like, know your worth and don't lower your standards. Yep. You'll be single forever. Yeah. yeah if yeah. that's how you, you need to lower them just a little bit. Yeah. And you need to allow Before people. Before it gets too late. I was talking to my sister about this. You need to allow people to have faults. Or bad days or red flags. The way things are now, and she's on all the dating apps and stuff, is that if someone has even like a weird day, you're like, whoops, and you're on to the next. Right. Do you know what I'm saying? Instead of letting people have normal things. Yeah. (laughs) Right? Like you're never going to find the perfect robot dude. No. That is rich and loves his mom and has the dog and has his own house and company and da, 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 and then doesn't have a little bit of... Some kind of issue. We all do. Right. And if the person that you're with doesn't allow you to have, again, a bad day, a red flag, a demon. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? Uh, Yeah. Right? Yeah. A, you'd be boring, by the way. And then B, it's just you can't you You, can't ever find You can't ever find that. It's not real. You you can't ever find that. There's levels of crazy. Sure, like I won't go that, you know, like I won't date that crazy, right? But there's gotta be a level. Right in between, you allow yeah. 
This one's interesting, though, because it's like, all right, both of them have gone through shit. And what if they came back together and they just said, hey, man, perfect. Yeah, we're both in our 50s. I think, you know, we're over whatever the fuck it is we did and blah, blah, blah. The world would have an epic meltdown of awesomeness, but I don't know. And we, we've even speculated on this what, last year on a show where we were just like, what if that happened? How crazy would oh. that be? When I saw this picture this morning pop up, I was like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. That would be amazing. It could. And, you know, she doesn't have social media. So it's like, what does she fucking care? She's not hearing. She's not hearing people's comments, you know? Yeah. She sees the magazines and stuff. But other than that. She, she doesn't listen. Oof, boy. Does he have? Does he have an Instagram? No. No. I, yeah. Well, I. You know. I don't know. I, I don't actually. think he's on social media either. So that would be perfect. Yeah. They don't need to hear the. They won't hear the noise. They won't hear any chatter. They'll see they've the magazine. Always, and they've always been famous. Now at this, point. like, I feel like. Oh, they don't need it. It's been twenty years of them being famous. None of them need it. They're I, the last of the old school. Where like I keep it private. Yeah. And I do my movies. And that's all you see of me. And, and if a tabloid it, yeah. wants to fucking try and catch a picture of me, that's the only picture you're going to see candid wise. Yeah. Of me. Yeah. Which she could have gotten ahead of a lot of this bullshit on because she's on the cover of every magazine pregnant every week. Ever, every uh, yeah. week she's pregnant yeah. or she's with a different guy or she's, you know, heartbroken or she's with Brad. So if she did have social media, she could have gotten ahead of some of these things. But I love that she just didn't. And if, she just lets it spin out. If you can, though. And she doesn't address. I, God, I had, this, I had this conversation over the weekend with a buddy of mine. I was like, man, if you, if you can Ugh. get away without having social yeah. media, it would be amazing. Because there was this thing with Rob Lowe. And I, 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 I'm a huge fan of Rob Lowe. I think he's fucking hilarious and rad. And that guy would steal your girl at age 17 through 60. And there's nothing you could do about it. Oh, like, yeah. he's that pimpy. Oh, yeah. He... Has a really funny Twitter. Yeah, he did find Twitter a little bit late. It, but but it, but loves it, loves it. So he posts, and I follow him. And he his he's one of the very few celebrities that always pops up in my feed because I always bitch about this all the time. Right? How Twitter gives me these stupid. Streisand's one of them uh, that always pops up in my feed. I'm like Jesus Christ! I finally just muted her and muted a bunch of them. Well, Rob Lowe started popping up, and I was like, oh, my God. Every time, he's just cool and funny and whatever. And uh, with Elizabeth Warren running yesterday, um, he posted a tweet that just said, man, you want to talk about a commander-in-chief? And I, it was really funny, uh, really off the, the cuff or whatever. Sure. There was, Is he Trump guy? I, I, don't, I don't know. Either way, it was really, really funny. I don't, I don't care who he likes, to be honest No, with no, you. it's just... It- it was if, really funny. If you are a celebrity, you have to be sly like that, to where you don't <laughs> say it, but you go, Commander in Chief, see you on the trail. Easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Trump said that. Yeah, you I knew know. what that was. But like <laughs> with this, it was really funny, really off the thing. And I started dying laughing. And um, I, I, but I read the comments underneath it and they were like, fuck you. And it was like some, you know, because it's, it's a series of like the blue check marks of us right. where it's just like, all right, great. Because when, when I tweet, it gets po- posted to the top and then I see the other fucking blue people. But they're all usually assholes. And like, so I saw all these people and they were like, fuck you. Jesus, man, mm-hmm. you're a dick. And it was all these celebrities. And I was like, it's, a, it's an easy joke to me. Like, it's a, we're fine with, with this type of joke. Twitter. He didn't say anything terrible. This morning I woke up, this was yesterday, and he, del- he had to delete the tweet. And he was just like, oh, I took some backlash for it or whatever. And I was like, why, man? Why? That wasn't just an easy, simple joke that everybody's joked about forever. Who fucking cares? And ironically, the day before he had posted, uh, it was like the 40th anniversary of of Blazing Saddles or something. Or 45 years. And he was just like, man, this movie could never get made today. And I wrote him back and I just said, well, it could. But it would take a series of... Uh, people in Hollywood who aren't fucking pussies to do that. And I think that would probably be your biggest issue. Not that the comedy would, because I think Blazing Saddles is amazing and one of the greatest comedies of all time. Super non-PC. Right. Uh, And I think it could get made today. But you would, it would take a bunch of executives to not do it. And a bunch of people commented on it or whatever. And they were like, well, Ross, you would do it. And I was like, yeah, but I don't, I don't give a fuck what people think about me in Hollywood, obviously. Um, but everybody else does, including Rob Lowe, who had to delete his fucking tweet about Commander-in-Chief. That was, that's as far as he went. That was pretty easy. That was a, that was a light joke. Listen, that's a, that's a yeah. lot. 
Yeah. That's, a, that's not an overhand smash of a joke. That's a lob of like, oh, hey, we're going to volley for a little bit. Talk um, about, yeah, he was. Ugh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it made me grateful that I don't have to to bow down to that shit anymore. Where I was just like, "Oh my god!" Right? Because uh, somebody somebody hit me up after that. Yeah, because I had wrote something back that was just like, um, I don't know, it was, it was something crazy, right? And somebody was like, "Man, I love that you don't have to do that." And I was like, uh, "You know, there was there there has been times though in my social media history where it's just like, hey, can you delete X, whatever that was, uh, from agents and shit? Dead serious." And I was like. If there was, if something was going out, uh, being shopped or sold or whatever, okay, and I was yeah, just like, yeah. I am fucking done with that world for Christ's sakes. Like you wouldn't be able to put up anything. No. Like even that, if, if I just posted that orange square from Firefest, right? Yeah. People would be like, that's racist. Mm-hmm. That is racist. What is, is that for Trump? Cause he's orange. You Trump a martyr. Yeah. What the that orange square for? <laughs> Don't know what that fucking orange square is for. No, it's for Firefest. You're just going to steal all your money. Don't worry about that. But, um. But don't worry about the the racist orange square. That's what I would get now, and which is why I'm like, fuck, man, yeah. just get me out of that. Yeah. So uh, gl- luckily, I don't have to deal with that shit anymore. But um, yeah, I, I got one more project, and I just gotta push out, and then I don't and have to care can. for the rest of my life. Freedom. Yeah. Freedom. Shit. Dun, dun, uh, with that, well, god damn it, man. We've we always whoops. just start chatting and never get to whoopsies. sponsors. We never get to sponsors. We spon- do. We, do. we it's always late. get to them. It's late. I look. I started off the top of the show with Black Rifle Coffee, talking about the Whoopi hoodie. Again, sign up for the Coffee Club of the Month program with BlackRifleCoffee.com. They do not bog you down with emails. I get one a month. The one either the the I actually that's not true. I get two emails a month from Black Rifle. The first one is, hey, here's a bunch of cool shit that you can get, like if you want it, and it's brand new and it's not available to the public. Like I just looked it up on their website. That will be is not available to the public. Okay. Yeah. So you've got to be a member first, okay. and I'm sure they'll fucking sell out. And um, same with Bison Union sells out of a lot of cool shit too. They really do. I know, which is why you've got to be a, a subscriber to oh, okay, it. Okay. Okay. You just, subscribe to it. And yeah. Can, just subscribe okay. to their mailer because then you get it. You know, when the shit's free and I mean, not free, but when the, when it first posts, so that way you're like, all right, great. Before this I'm sells out. I'm still trying to get this throwback hat, but every time I go on there. For Bison Union? Yeah. Yeah. They have like this old, old like amazing throwback style hat. Tell me what it is. I'll call Bert personally. Okay. He's well, I don't spo- like to. They're a sponsor. Like I'll pay for it. My... I don't give a shit. No, I want to pay. I want to pay bros. for it. It's just always sold out. So like. Yeah. That's why I'm saying, how do I get. So if I subscribe. Yeah. yeah then yeah. I'll get the thing. Yeah. Okay. Uh, go go to Bert, at, at Bert Koontz's Instagram and just and just put hashtag hat for Jesse. No. <laughs> hashtag hat that. for Jesse on Bert don't Koontz. Do I want to buy Bert it, Koontz. Bert. Well, Bert, we'll buy it, but just hashtag hat for Jesse. Um, she'll, we'll wear it on the show. I'll, I'll text Dude, him after the show's over. I need to just buy the stuff because I want to wear it. We, I, I, I buy all, I buy their shit all the time. I love it. Um, again, different sponsor, different show, but sorry, I love sorry. Bison but Union. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I have no problem promoting that. Drinking Bros, 20% off promo code. Uh, but with Black Rifle, it's the same where it's like, all right, the two emails are, here's some cool shit that nobody else has yeah. before it sells out. And the other one is, hey, your subscription is up you know, this month. Yeah. Would you like to cancel it yeah. or keep going? Which no one does that. It's great. No one fucking does that. They just keep charging you for the rest mm-hmm. of your life. Sirius XM just did that to me forever. And I was like, motherfucker, I haven't had that car in six months. Oh, sorry, son. We thought you still on the phone. No, they get no. it. They get it in for as long as they can until you notice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they're like, "Oh God." Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh. So sorry. And so I called and I was like, "Take the fucking last six months off." I fucking traded that car in. Did you get the last month? I did. How? I did. I always talk. I always talk to him. With, you know, I can never get it's light threats done. where I'm like, "Hey, uh, if you're a woman, you just get taken advantage of because they know you're a mom and you don't have time. Chances are, you got two screaming kids in the background. You're not going to stay on the phone for an hour." I'll wait those motherfuckers out. Uh, but you don't have to wait them out at BlackRifleCoffee.com. They do it for you. Um, I just Maybe it's because they're veteran-owned. I don't know. They're just better than everything else. Like, who sends you an email asking if you still want to be a member? Nobody, dude. <laughs> Would you like to cancel? Oh, God. No, I, I don't. But thank you, for, thank you for the offer once a month. Yeah. I genuinely feel better about it every month. And I'm like, oh, feels, no, I don't. But that's, it's so awesome because it like, puts you in control. To where you're like, okay, I do. Yeah, but and no then other companies yes do this. Time, is what I just don't. I don't get it. And I like, know. by the way, I, look, yes, they are a sponsor, 
And yes, I, 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 I talk about them a lot because they are a sponsor, but I genuinely love the fucking company. Um, and I think that's why they're, you know, they're number, they're the number one e-commerce coffee on the entire interwebs. I believe that. I, did, I, I was shocked by that. What else? Who else? I, I don't know. I, I would have thought Starbucks or something, but I guess all of their shit is in store. Like it's all brick and mortar. Yeah. And as far as their coffee, like, I don't know, it, it may be a new platform for them to even be. I guess. Uh, either way. Nailing you back. Go to BlackRifleCoffee.com. Uh, Revolution is the promo code for 20% off. That's a one-time use. I'm going to try to get them to change that promo code today, too. Uh, next up, we've got... So, so that way everybody can... I know a bunch of people have burned that promo code. Uh, next up, we got GhostBed.com forward slash Drinking Bros. Yet another company that's just doing cool shit because they can. Um, I've, I Look, I talked about their, their sales over the, the New Year's and the holidays and stuff. And I said, look, jump on it now before they go away. You obviously can't give all that shit away for that price for an entire year. They still have the bundle package for seven ninety nine, which is amazing. But at ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros, they they put a new footer at the bottom of the page. If you're a military, uh, if you're military or a, or a first responder, you get an extra 15% off. And let's face it, on a fucking mattress, that is like hundred an extra 150 to 200 bucks off. Huge. It's amazing. Um, and that applies to everything. Bed, sheets, pillows, and the pillows are the greatest thing on the face of the earth along with their mattress. But like those guys don't have to do that shit either. They're a massive company. Uh, the fact that they are is, is incredible and it's strictly for this link. So don't go to ghost. Like you've got to go to ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. That will give you the deals off at all of, uh, for all of this shit, um, across the board. So I know our audience is about 50% military and, and first responders So go, go take advantage of that. And it's 36 months. No interest. Not one single cent. Still? still. Still, I know. It's like, what? No interest pays you go programs. So that way, like, hey, if you want a mattress and you're like, man, I can't afford it now. I can maybe pay like I don't know, 40 or 50 bucks a month or whatever it is. Like, shit. I, I don't even know if there's a credit check. Like, it's pretty crazy. Go and do it now um, because that's awesome. Uh, so th- those guys, again, doing it right, doing it tight, doing it all night. And then Strike Force is our next one. They're just giving out. They've been giving out fucking free shipments to Strike Force, like first responders all over the country. Right now? Yeah. That's awesome. It keeps popping up, man. Everybody keeps tagging me, and I'm like, shit. I've got my big boxes. Yep. We got a 10 pack, 40 pack, 750 milliliter box. bottle. If you're watching the video show, you can see them because they actually give you the display boxes. So, like, they're, I know they're in like a thousand 7 Elevens across the, the country at the front desk when you check out or. I don't know. You, I know you don't call it a desk. What do you call it? The clerk, the clerk of Shire the register. Yeah, whatever the register. Um, these are the boxes and you actually get these boxes when they ship them to you. So you can just rip the top off and keep it on your counter, which is awesome. Uh, lemon original, uh, make America grape again in orange, no <laughs> carbs, no sugars. Uh, get it now. Strikeforceenergy.com. Great for a diet, man. If you're, if you're dieting right now in, into the new year still, if you've still maintained it into February, how the fuck is it the second week of February already? Yeesh. Uh, this is, look, this will keep you from crashing in the afternoon. Kick the can. You don't need it anymore. This is all you need. Boom. You're good to go. Go to strikeforceenergy.com. Promo code REVOLUTION. 20% off. Last but not least, straightrazors.com. Ooh, that's a clean cut. Smooth. Are you right, kid? Oh, man. Do you? Yeah. Even if you put up the tweet, do you like it? People would rage against yes. the Jabes. <laughs> My mom was like, I keep saying I like it all over. Nobody knows what I'm talking about. I'm like, well, hey. Hey. in California? Yeah. All right. Huge Asian up community north too. there. Yeah. Northern Cal. Yeesh. Yeesh. Uh, Straightrazors.com. Yeah, keep it up. Keep it up, mom. We love it. And keep shaving with straightrazors.com. It is not Gillette. This is the, this is the actual best say, a man really. can get. I know. It's not know. Gillette. Did they run that commercial during the Super Bowl, by the way? I forgot to ask you that. I don't remember it. Ah. Gotcha. You were too, you were too drunk off your chili, chili one. Oh, my gosh. I partied, partied, partied hard. Yeah. Hard. 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 And you can party hard at straightrazors.com by getting yourself some uh, aftershave, cologne. Shampoos, conditioners, it's products for dudes. I'm not going to lie. It's not, it's not a lady site. 
no. by any stretch. It's for dudes. Go there, smell like a man. All this shit comes in like tombstone type bottles, like, and it's the fucking best. I use their cologne, their aftershave, and their fucking razors every day. Gigantic fan of theirs. If you're worried about using a straight razor, they have a safety razor. It looks like all your normal razors. But the blade is better, so it takes about a day and a half off your shaving. Uh, beyond stoked with these guys. I uh, love all their products. And uh, straightrazors.com, as always, Revolution, 20% off. And, of course, don't forget to pick up a night she cries while he rides his steed. And when darkness falls, he doesn't catch it. I check the ratings all the time to see if we're, we're still not. No, we're, we're still number one on Audible. There's nothing else like it. No. That's why. So if you like this show, each of these Audible books is uh, six and a half hours. You can get wet. James, what are you doing? Sleeping on the job there? What? Your eyes. Do you? There is. You, you know, do there you is, blame me? There is, uh, there is people that take. Because the video show, we're really pushing this year mm-hmm. on, uh, on YouTube and iTunes. Uh, so subscribe on YouTube to the video show. Um, do that now. Ross Patterson Revolution. There is people who take stills of you mm-hmm. in between talking making weird faces that you don't know you're making and then oh i know i make really weird faces all yeah, the time. yeah 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 where it's just like very animated no 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 like you're dead like that yeah oh, like if there's something in my eye or yeah. something like that yeah cool yeah keep it up I don't no but i'm shit. T- i'm telling you <laughs> keep it up send it to me <laughs> what keep I it get up all pissed. i don't give no fuck i don't give a fuck take take screenshots of me being ugly what do I fucking care? You bitch. Man, I'm time for this. Bitch I know ass. who I am, you dude. Bitch ass I know who I am. I have, you know. You want to see me on the street? Yeah, try, I don't try, play, and show play me, boy. try and show me that still in the street. I don't play, Playboy. You want to come up with me and flash it still in the street? You're going to get a straight razor. You're going to get a straight razor. <laughs> Keep it up. I don't right give a to shit. the throat. I will give you a straight razor right to the throat. You keep playing with me, Playboy. You about to get wet. We about to have a wet t-shirt contest up in this motherfucking play, boy. Okay. Um, <laughs> just making you aware for the video show. That's it. That's but I'm it. not going to change anything. No. Yeah. So. No. No, you're not. Go ahead. Keep making me aware. Yeah. Right. I don't give a shit. <laughs> I, mean, I don't give no fuck. I don't give a fuck, Do you fuck, need me dude. to go off on a 10-minute rant again? No. I know who I am. Tonight's the Grammys. Yeah, you love it when I say the gwam- the Grammys, and you're excited for it. The or... Gwam Grams, I am. I am excited actually. So usually in Grand Grammy past history, it's like fucking Herbie Hancock's album, or uh, like some Steely Dan reunion album, where it was just like, oh man, people, right. and that's what wins best album and all of that BTS shit and stuff. Yeah, where you're uh, not BTS. Like I don't know anything about that, that little Japanese band. Yeah, but they were like winning last year, right? And people were like. Right? Uh, some, that was another award show. Oh, okay. Um, I think it was MTV. MTV oh, never Music mind. Awards. That uh, count. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't think they do anything for Korean pop or anything over here for the Grammys. Maybe they do. Best fo- maybe Best Foreign Land Award. I don't, I don't know. I, what I know is this. I wasn't nominated, and I'm oh. pissed off about it. Okay. Um, super pissed. Mm-hmm. We deserved it as Best Audiobook. And they, because... Uh, a lot of people, I, I've said this on a couple shows where I was like, dude, I want to win a Grammy. And they were like, well, how? Th- th- this is no lie. So they give a best spoken word Grammy for the best audiobook of the year. I genuinely think we should have won this year or at least been nominated. We were not. I think what was nominated. It's bullshit. It's like Stephen Colbert or like. Uh, they get it confused with the best Oprah's book. won. Hillary Clinton has won one. Obama, like. The Obamas have won one. We were just like, fuck mm. off. Jimmy Carter's won one. Like, fuck off with that shit. I know Tiffany Haddish is nominated tonight. And I heard her audiobook is fantastic. Yeah, that's what I heard. We have too. the same agent um, for Lit. So that I'll take the word on that because he was like, yo, for real, this book is great. Right. Because she did it. So yeah. I'm sure it's pretty fucking good. Yeah. And she's moving like crazy amounts of units per week. Um, and we, our audiobooks destroy, but not. Man, hers, her, her, that book is really killing. Um, so I'll be curious to see if she wins tonight for that. Okay. Uh, simply because of how well it did. And it, I mean, that book really exploded, and especially the audio book. But I was pissed we weren't nominated. Like, nobody's ever done what we did, we've done. I don't know, but. Um, so we'll see. I, look. We'll the have world's another, not ready. We'll, we'll have another shot at it next year, maybe. Yeah. We'll see. Uh, so we'll be recording the next one. Um, not only the third one of this, but Matt's book, yeah. we'll all be recording that, uh, within the next two months. So I'll let you know how that goes after we finish it. I'll give you the honest truth on it. 
Um, but the reason, I, again, that I'm, I'm looking forward to tonight's Grammys is they hired a whole new, not hired, they invited a bunch of new members to join the Academy. So that way the process is different. So everybody that's nominated is actually popular music that we've listened to throughout the year okay. and not like these weird fucking bands like because it was a year where steely dan won when you were like wait what wait who uh beck won a couple years ago remember when kanye raged and was just like yo nobody's heard of this album i i love beck and i liked the album but nobody i, I never yeah, yeah I, uh, nobody was bumping the it. only reason i knew it was because somebody inside her hollywood had given it to me and i was just like oh all right cool uh, but this year is different. So it's all like popular shit where you're like, all right, Post Malone's nominated for like yeah. the top awards where you're like, Gaga. That's what it's sh- exactly. Gaga. That's what it should be. Yeah. Um, I think there'll be some good performances. Ariana Grande dropped oh. out. So bye. The ones, the ones that I'm looking forward to tonight, bye. Mac Miller, uh, to see if he wins. Yeah. For, uh, for best album posthumously. Yeah, I was just going to ask, is it posthumously? Yeah, um, and I think his mom is going to be there to accept in case he does. So that would be cool. Uh, I, if you want my honest opinion, I think that's probably why Ariana Grande dropped out. I bet you there's some form of tribute to Mac Miller tonight. And or if he wins the award, it would be pretty fucking awkward if she was there. No, so she dropped out because the head of the Grammy, whatever the guy yeah. that's doing the whole thing, said that she couldn't play Seven Rings. Because it's a new song, it's not even in any kind of, it wasn't in time for even any competition. So right. they don't usually let you sing songs that are like uh, brand new. Gotcha. She got pissed. He goes, well, in a statement, he said, I'm, I doubt that she'll be able to pull something together in this short amount of time. Right. So maybe next time. She clapped back. You know I can pull something together in two seconds. That's not it. Blah, blah, blah. See ya. So it was like this. I, I think what it really was, dead serious, was I, I think they know something that we don't know that he's going to win or something's going to happen for Mac Miller tonight. And, and they didn't want what? Her there. Because everybody still blames her for his death. So they do. Yeah, oh, yeah. Because uh-huh. I mean, she got engaged. Like, so they broke up. They were dating for what, six years or whatever it was? He was with her during all through that concert shit when all those people got killed and that. Oh, okay. That 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 terrorist act mm-hmm. over in London, and then she breaks up with him. Two months later, is engaged to fucking Pete Davidson, and then he dies. He k- kills himself. I know, but you can't blame people. For I that I understand kind that. Stuff. I understand that's that. But that's what the public crazy. still thinks, okay. and she's still posting about well, it. There needs to be. And on the new album, by the way, more education about suicide. <laughs> I understand that. But on the on the new album that just came out uh, this past week, yeah. There is a song about Mac Miller on there. Yeah. So. Um, again, it's like, why couldn't she sing? Um, in my opinion, this is, this is me thank personally. Thank you, Next. I mean, uh, why would it have to be the newest song? I, c- because it's, th- so there's a cutoff for the Grammy period, right? Um, I, I believe you're only eligible up until December 1st. So that whole album wasn't. Correct. But it will be next year. Right. So, so it, so it will be eligible like, next year. What would she have to play? Something from like way back right yes okay yeah yeah yeah. so i believe that could be part of it but you're right i mean yeah that theory also holds i i I, yeah i i that's my guess where Where it's just like such a bitch that the guy that runs the grammys now is like fuck fuck you yeah and use that as an excuse which he clearly did and she was like that ain't it i think it's like that ain't it ken yeah, you yeah. You know yeah. I can. You know I can pull something together out but, of my that, ass in a second. Exactly, and that. But that that response leads me to believe that exactly. it was another thing. Okay. Involving Mac Miller but, somehow. Okay. The other thing I thought uh, uh, is that she's a nightmare piece of shit, <laughs> and not Mac Miller. But but hey, we don't know what the other thing is, right? Uh, look, we can confirm. Anybody who's listened to the the uh, I don't the Hannah Lux David like no that. no she we did it we did an episode with her um yeah yeah but we're not going to say anything about how she feels about Ariana Grande she they, they she, she's great she's pleasant to work with so they love her yeah 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 yeah, uh, yeah so I don't think it's I, I don't think it's her bitchiness at all okay. um I think it, I I solely think it is this Mac Miller thing okay. Um, Fair. And that's my guess. Because uh, look, I don't think Hannah would work with her that much if she our, was a our, nightmare. Our yeah. literal best friends work with them, yeah. her all the time. I, I can tell you this: they would not work, work with her no. if she was a fucking nightmare no. all the time. They just wouldn't do it. So they don't need to. No. So I, I, I they, they don't. And 
everything they've said about her is she is always professional on time and will show up and do these things. Even those funerals. Remember her singing? Uh, God, who's funeral? Yeah, yeah. Aretha Franklin. Like yep. she'll show up on the spot and just drop a song, and, and you're like, all right, cool, great. And that was she's the, a that she's was a pro. The clap back was like pull something together. Exactly. I'll show you pull something yeah. together. <laughs> so if you're watching tonight, Mac Miller wins. You. That's why. I think that's the answer. Okay. Because they they know who's won. Right. You know, it's supposed to be some secret fucking warehouse. But if you're trying to ship in somebody's family, I wouldn't want as a producer. It would take away from it. As this Grammy producer, right? I wouldn't want to fly in a family of somebody whose their son was Mm. deceased, make them sit in the audience. because That's a long ass show. And you have to get there two hours early for security. So like you're there for five and a half hours, this fucking thing. Mm. I wouldn't want to put somebody's parents through that. To have them lose, I would make yeah. the call as a producer. As yes. a producer, yes. I would make yes. the call yes. and say, "Hey yes. guys, yes. Mm-hmm. S- you can sit this yeah. sit this one out." Yeah, I, I agree. So the speculation from okay. all of my friends is like, "Hey, look, he's going to win tonight." Okay, which I would be fine with because it's a great album, and it's absolutely fuck, man. Um, yeah, I, I, the last song in that album is one of my, was one of my favorites of all of last year. So. If he won, I would be fine with that for sure. And not just because someone died where it was just like, all right. Like if fucking XXX tension or, you know, triple X tension, that, if that guy won anything, I'd be like, fuck off. That guy sure. was not that good. Sure, 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 sure. Um, I got you. But yeah, uh, the, other, the other interesting part is, uh, God, she keeps popping up for us, man. And I just I, I hate her so much, shapes. Chrissy Deegan. Oh, you know, she invited over to, yeah, shock, right? Um, uh, she invited Ocasio-Cortez over to, to watch, watch the, Grammys the Grammys at her house. Yeah. And that's been a story. And um, Would you even want to hang out with that crazy? So she said, yeah. hey, come over and have some pizza with me and we'll watch it. But uh, Did she accept? Is that really happening? I mean, what? She, yes. She said. Of course you know, it is. So. Um, I don't know if it's really going down or what's going to happen, but uh, Ocasio Cortez's doc at Sundance over the weekend just sold for ten million dollars. I want to repeat that. That's ten million dollars for a documentary. Jesus, when's the last time they spent that kind of money at I Sundance? Ca- I cannot for a documentary. I cannot remember a documentary ever getting ten million dollars, and it was Netflix. In my year, two thousand eleven. The most money that was spent on anything was four million. Yeah, it varies on the year. I will say this: I remember Napoleon Dynamite went for ten. But that was before that. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, look, there was another movie, uh, Mindy Kaling's movie, went for thirteen this year. But they said it's it's a big commercial film. Okay. Um, but this this is ten million dollars, and they're calling it the golden age of documentaries, which. I, 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 I try watch. to take AOC. This is what the moniker she's going by now. Mm. I take. I try to take her out of the equation, and I and I look at it from a Hollywood perspective. Of fuck, yes, I, everybody's watching documentaries now. Like it is the rage. We watch them all the time. We listen to podcasts all the time. Maybe that ten million is worth it because gonna... right now she's the hot shit story. Whether you love her or hate her. I obviously hate her, but I'll, I'll still watch the doc yeah. just out of pure fascination. So when I looked at that and I really sat with that number, I was like, well, shit, you have somebody like me who completely hates her, but is still going to watch it. So who bought it for that much? Netflix. Netflix. Yeah. I mean, of course. Everybody of will watch course. this fucking thing. Everyone will watch it. It'll be bird box numbers. Um, I don't, just again, see, I don't know why that matters just to see to Netflix, who she but. is, where she came from, what, what all this fucking craziness is about. My thing is that no matter how they try and twist it, because obviously the documentarian had an agenda one way or the other, right? To slap it together this fast, this, cause this girl's only popped up unless they have some crazy footage of her from sure. as a child or something, which, you know, that is possible too. When we it watched that Avicii doc, she we were like, Oh, young fuck. enough that yeah. you're, you're smart enough now. Camera wise. Yeah. Camera wise to always be documenting everything you do. Right. If you plan on doing anything in the world, but, um, yeah, so they, they must've had some kind of agenda, all documentary. It's all from one, his side, her, his or her side, any right. documentary you watch, 
making a murderer, whatever, where it's like you have an agenda, you're putting one storyline forward, right? So what my thing with that doc is like, will you be able to, let's say you have a leftist agenda, will you be able to hide the crazy? Probably not. Do you know what I mean? I, I don't where, know. Where like you can make her as likable as you want if that's the direction you're going, but is it going to be enough? Will it still shine through? I don't know. We will see. It has to, right? E- either way, I, uh, I'll, I'll watch it. it. I'm here for it. I'll watch it and, and see what it's all about, see what the hype is all it's about. It's sad to say that like watching narrative film now seems like a waste of time. It depends on what it is. Depends on what it is, but most of the time to me, when there's a documentary where I can actually either learn yes. something if or... You, it, you personally will always switch and say, all right, we're we watching a doc or a real movie. And you'll always, you'll always go doc. Because it feels like you're at least going to learn something about either a real person or a real situation. Where if a movie's bad, you've gained nothing. Yeah. Right? Well, so like to me, so with this Ocasio-Cortez thing and this Chrissy Teigen thing, if I'm her, I wouldn't... Because we talked about her going to Sundance and she was scheduled to go. And I was like, I wouldn't fucking do that. Because that way it takes you out of... People will start to go. So she call ba- you she did back out of that, by the way. She didn't go. Okay. Uh, right. With this Chrissy Teigen thing, if she's smart, she will not go to her fucking house for the Grammys, because that one picture will say you're not serious about being a politician. Yep. You want to hang out. All you care about is so you're going to have the agenda of Chrissy Teigen in mind more than me, working class. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, so that's what I would think, and it would make me hate her more. Exactly. And I don't think Chrissy Teigen is the best person to align yourself with right now. No, no, not at all. That's a, something bad. If it was you and Hillary watching, drinking a beer awkwardly, that that would be better. (laughs) Do you know what I mean? Align yourself with someone like that. Man. See what happens. I wish I was partying with Papa Trump tonight, you know? He sure. doesn't. He doesn't drink or he doesn't do anything. Drink but, or party or go to bed late. Or but, does he go to bed late? Yeah, he goes to bed late. Yeah, yeah. He'd be a good conversationalist, but he'd be like, oh, "I fucked her," you know. He'd look at somebody and be like, "Yeah, oh, I fucked her." Would she was. She was better than eighty-eight. It's proven you know? that that's the kind of talk that he <laughs> loves to engage in. Yeah, that's proven. Um, you know who really brought it last night was uh, I don't pop on SNL that much. Okay. Um, but last night's uh, Halsey was on uh, the singer. Okay. Who's attractive she's an attractive lady um she was the one we get it no 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 but i don't know if you remember this but maybe 40 or 50 shows ago we made fun of white women who can barely sing on rap tracks yeah i don't think it was yeah she was the poster child for this i know for years right i know so when Dido I, started it, but anyway. Right, right, right. Exactly, exactly, exactly. But Halsey's tor- kept He's the torch. She's keeping it going. They're, she's, they're keeping it going. Yeah, yeah. She's, she's kept the torch going. Eminem's kept this going. Featuring Halsey right. is your big ticket. So last night when I flipped it on, because uh, we were, Matt and I were editing, working on some notes from this new sketch last night, going back and forth on FaceTime. When I hung up, I, I just turned it on just to see who, who, was, who was hosting, and it said Halsey was doing both. And I was like, Fuck, that's bold. She, she's doing music and hosting. She's funny. She was great. Really? And I was surprised. Here was what I was even more surprised about was she's, an, she's actually an unbelievable singer. And I was just like, oh, fuck, dude. Halsey's really doing this shit. And she did one of the most interesting performances I think I've ever seen anywhere, I guess. Uh, she put a full canvas down, an empty canvas on stage and had a mic hooked to her thing mm-hmm. and painted an entire portrait while she sang this song. That's group love. Group uh, oh, it is? Do- yeah, group love's been doing that for fucking years. It, is a f- it was a full, huge mm-hmm. portrait, but she, she, she was only doing it herself. Yeah. Does, is group love doing it? Were they doing it as a group? Um, no, I think it was... Sh- they're not singing and doing it. But they have that on their, that's part of their, you know, concerts. So okay. they'll have like a big com- canvas behind them. And as they're singing each song, someone will. From the band? The band, the band is not the one drawing it. Ah, so. They're in front of it and then they have someone. She right behind actually painted it. an entire, I mean, it was a massive portrait. While it good? She, she, it was amazing. And I was like, holy shit. So this has gone, this has gone viral today. So you're Everybody's in love. like. You're in love. Man. 
Um, no, no. I'm. I look. Singers are fucking crazy. But, Not my type. Um, paint, sing, funny. Yeah, act, I, uh, that's what everybody hot. was saying today. They were Come like, on. "So, would you say that's a quadruple threat? Because she can paint too." And you're like, "Fuck." So this this image and that performance has gone viral, obviously as well. It should. I mean, I, I've. I can't even do the whole rub my head and tummy thing sure. at the same time, let alone right. sing a song start to finish and, and paint this huge I can't even talk portrait. in Google. No. I, do you know what I mean? So yeah. it's like. That was, it was pretty incredible to see where I was just like, all right, that left me a little hope out there of like, there's some people who are still doing some cool shit. Yeah. I'm oh. definitely a single threat. Yeah. 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 Not even really a threat. No, no. <laughs> I'm sort of just like a single. A, like a bother. Suggestion. <laughs> do you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm just a single. <laughs> opinion lightly yeah a, a light, lightly spoken from the corner a suggestion Ooh, you're yeah. just uh you're a single suggestion yeah is what you are yes. of like hey yes no threats no 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 nothing about me is a threat yeah she she is definitely <laughs> a threat a threat um whew, yeah yeah it, it, so if you're comparing us me and halsey yeah 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 and triple she, threat and she was dating g Easy for a while, and we watched that documentary on Netflix, and we were like, that guy fucking sucks at life. I hate him so much. Yeah, they, they, they broke up. Well, one of this, the first songs she performed last night, it was like a bunch of words painted on the wall behind her. Because mm-hmm. uh, the second song is the one she painted the portrait on. The first one, it just said, I cheated, and it was just like for him, and it was just like, whoops, she went all in on him. Last night. She said I cheated. Well, th- there was a bunch of like lies written on the wall, you know, and oh, things okay. that, that that happened. And I, I guess it was all about him. OK. Um, and it was like, man, if you watch that doc on g Easy, and then you look at Halsey, you probably should have just gone all in on Halsey and called it a day. Because mm-hmm. um, that guy's on a one way track to vanilla ice. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, yeah, I, I don't. There's not a lot of talent from G Easy, in my opinion. Well, if you hear it from him, he's the most talented person <laughs> in the world. Um, but from everyone else, they were like, "He's uh, yeah, he's okay. I mean, yeah. he's great. We like hanging out with him. <laughs> he has a sweet studio that we use him for, right?" Yeah. Oh, basically, yeah. yeah. So, ugh, I don't know. Uh, G Easy, bro, you should have. Yeah really hammer that down i just never gave her a look or a second thought like i heard it and i was just like all right cool i the same dido vibe and then you know after that i was like whoa shit jesus halsey all right <laughs> okay, all right Hal- okay halsey all right oh hey halsey yeah. hey halsey mm. i understand your whole shit so yeah uh i get it hop on that train if you haven't seen that her painting that portrait it's pretty fucking impressive. Um, and then the other thing last night, to, to, to close this out, Clive Davis holds a huge party the night before the Grammys. He does, does it every year, except for the year that... Uh, Hotel. Yeah, but that uh, Whitney Houston died. Um, the night before? Yeah, she died the, yeah, the day before, and then he canceled the party. But At that hotel, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's done it, he's done it every, every year. Okay, cool. Um, what up? Well, usually does at the Beverly Hills Hotel. I think mm-hmm. she she died in the other one down the street, but whatever. I think it was there. Okay. Neither here nor there. Sure. There's no way to find out. Neither here nor <laughs> single suggestion. You're not a. There's no threats. <laughs> yep. Single. I need to think of a better where it's just like a. It's oh. not a threat. No. A request. A request. <laughs> I'm a single request. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Hey. I'm a, I'm a single. Can I talk to your manager? Yeah. Right. Not a threat. <laughs> Not a threat in any way. Um, turned super political last night. Nancy Pelosi was there and like she got a standing ovation at this part. All I can think of if I was there, like if that shit, I would have fucking lost my mind. I would have lost my mind. Who else was there politic? Streisand. So she, well, she fucking sang, because they, they, like the artists sing and you actually have to sing. Right. Uh, so she sang, she wrote this song, Walls, about Donald Trump. And, um, Standing ovation. They got Pelosi got a standing ovation. Oh. Streisand got a, a, a standing ovation. Sure. I might have Whitneyed myself at the party. I might have, I would have said to my waiter, 
I need to go upstairs. No, I need a no. bath drawn. What? I, no, I, you bring the tub down. <laughs> oh, bring to the, the tub table. to me. Draw that Draw bath. Draw the bath. I want to die drugs. in front of everyone here. I want to go ahead and sleep this one off. Right. I want to I want to go underwater in front of everyone here and mm-hmm. let them know that I did this mm-hmm. right here. If I would have saw that 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 shit there because the 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 hypocrisy in all of this is the opening acts was Travis Scott. It's like come on. All he's talking about is drugs, pussy and money. Um and then it's like, "Oh man, but now we're going to celebrate our our political heroes. Sure. But the opening artist was Travis Scott singing about pussy and drugs and money. And then, but, but oh, and then Clive, because Clive Davis got on there and was just like, oh, and ladies and gentlemen, we have Nancy Pelosi, the highest ranking female right. political position in the United States. And everyone was like, oh, my God. I was like, hey, man, are you just, we're going to just gloss over the fact that Travis Scott was on stage rapping about pussy for, for 10 do minutes? Do we have a thing of Pelosi dancing <laughs> to it? I need that footage, please. <laughs> oh, God, dude. NP. I, it, it's crazy. He's like, NP. NP. What up, girl? I'm surprised he's still alive, by the way. Clive Davis has got to be, yeah, 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 yeah. be how old? I, I mean, and that guy... Fuck, he's the Messiah. He's been doing it forever. I'm, it's that point in the show. Let's give Clive Davis the revolutionary okay, figure of the okay. day. This party's been going on forever. And if you get invited to it, you are a god amongst men. Sure. Um, I've never been invited to it. But I would like to someday. Right. Just so I could kill myself at the table, obviously, if I saw the shit that went on last night. Because I think that would be a nice place to die. Right yeah, in oh, the it's middle a, of that I Grammy love that party. place, by the way. Gorgeous. Yeah. It's gorgeous. Yeah, I think that'd be a nice place to go under, you know, under the water. We were just like, oh, Pelos. Um, she is wearing Clive Davis is God damn it. He's 86 years old, man. Yeah. He's going to be 87 this year. Shit. Look, Clive's got about two parties in him. Probably at this point, would you? Uh, oh, my. I'd say well, over I'd under, say over under may, two. This could be the last one. Yeah, this could be. At 86. Anyways. Then you start getting into not all there territory. Yeah. And he found, look, he found Whitney Houston. He found, I mean, he, the, he Clive is the dude, man. Um, he, you name it, he's done it. He went to fucking Harvard for Christ's yeah. sake. Uh, so, yeah, I'll give him the revolutionary figure of the day. This guy has been one of the most influential people of all time. And I might add, he's relatively scandal free. Like, Usually the record business is the most disgusting business yeah. of all time. I don't, you don't really hear much negative shit on, on Clive Davis at all. Where, you know. And he's still coloring up. You got to respect that. Is he really? Oh, at, yes. at 87? Oh, yes. I would not. You think 87 would be the good cutoff? The, the jig is up, man. Oh, okay. Good to know. Because <laughs> he doesn't have a lot of hair at all either. No, but it can't also be white. If you have a little, it has to. <laughs> one or the other. Do you know what I mean? You have a full head of gray. Or you have a little brown. Who are you fooling right? at 87? Look, who's you the... never know if he's the one person. Oof, who's hoping to get his dick sucked at 87 at the party? Just the one person that Come actually on. doesn't have any gray hair ever. Because <laughs> that's what like my grandma would always say. No gray, no wrinkle. And she was like, totally wrinkle. Gray on the side. No gray, no wrinkle. You dyed it. She's 90. Now she's not, Now the jig is up. Yeah, yeah. But before that, when you were like an older and clearly dyed gray. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got, I saw. Clearly I saw, a facelift. Yeah, exactly. But I just saw. trying to be like, no, I'm the only person in the history of time that does not get wrinkles at 80. I'm the one. I saw a guy, um, uh, I was getting coffee. And if I'm, if I'm out of town, I try to go to like. A local place. Yes. Other yeah. than Starbucks um, to support whatever local yeah, yeah. coffee shop it is. It's usually and again, it's my best friends own a fucking coffee company. Yes. And the coffee is, is always better. It is always better. Always go local. Um, so I go to this place and there was a guy in line who was probably 60, 62, somewhere in there. Right. He had bleach blonde hair like mine right now for you know this prefontaine look. Mm-hmm. Obviously mine's. For a bet, and it's 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 part of a joke. Clearly died, and we're not trying to pretend no, no, that no. it's not. And it's, yeah, it, it was part of a, a bet on, mm-hmm. on drinking bro sports, and it's been hilarious. Um, not for you, uh, but I look, I, I looked at him, and I was like, oh my god, he's doing it for real. And like, hey, I'm man, I'm still, yeah. I'm still fooling people at 62, and it was just mm-hmm. like, 
Oh boy. Um, and he had a beard that was brown, but like when there's so much gray in that, you can't, you just can't throw enough color into it. Like it's, you'd have it's to do over. it every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it does grow. Yes, yes. So the roots on your beard, yeah, are going to be a daily thing. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I. I guess I just. I still don't. I still don't understand that thinking of like, what do you think people believe? Do you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, what do you think people? I... They know you've gotten some kind of work done that you color up. It's just a matter of how how you want to deal with that. But if anyway. you're if you're in your 80s at 87, you're still coloring up just that tiny bit but of hair. But he's single, and you know, is he? I mean, he the, the last at 87 wife though. Are you here. hoping to to go home with Katy Perry or you know? What I it, think you're just you know, you're just hoping to hang. You boy. know, you're hoping to party. I don't know. I, I I'd sit down with somebody and just say, hey, what's the real shit here? You know. All right. Anyway. He hasn't been married since 85. Right? He's been pimping, 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 pimping since 85. <laughs> so what was that, uh, 34 years ago? So even then he would have been f- fucking 58. Oh, he was a <laughs> young buck, dude. 54. Young buck. Oh, boy. Poon hound. Yeah. Poon hounding. Either way. For look, 34 years. Looking forward to the Grammys tonight. And we'll, you know we'll have a full report on this bullshit on uh, Tuesday night's show. Yup. Uh, so, so tune in for that. And also, again, subscribe to the show on YouTube or iTunes. Uh, we are going hard on video this year and uh, making the push toward Rogan where you know all the shows are video. And uh, we're trying to give you the best. The best every day. The best we can. Single. And Sp- Spotify is coming after people right now. Single request. Yeah. Single, not a triple threat, but James is a single request. Not a double threat. Not a single threat. Spotify's buying up podcasts, man. They are. I'm, I'm just hoping they'll still million for still Gimlet Media. keep it free. So wherever we can go. That is that a thing? Be, is that what you. That's what. Um, that's what every. That's what iTunes been, has been fighting podcasters for. For. A while, and Adam Carolla and Mark Marin have gone to bat and gone to court about this many times. It seems to be at bay right now, but if it's not iTunes, is the, I, listen, I, I'm all for it, but I'm just saying we're going to go to the platform that keeps it free for you guys, whatever that yes. may be. And right now, and, and again, this is part of our big push in a video, it's YouTube. Yes. So. You so know, if that's where it ends up being, that's where it's going to be. Congratulations. Yeah. And I know there's, there's options now on YouTube where you can just leave your phone on. So like, that's got to be next. Um, and Facebook's also coming up with a, a, a podcast feature as well. Yeah. But I, yeah, we're going to keep this free forever. So fuck it. Um, you know. Uh, but if Spotify also came in and said, we'll give you $10 million, we'll probably do that. But um, nope, other than no. that. I <laughs> No, I want it to be free for the people. How much did the, how much was 10 Ah, 10 million, James. We're going to get back to you guys, and we <laughs> love you. <laughs> Subscribe on YouTube because it's free. We love you. For Jesse Wiseman, a.k.a. The Jables, I am Ross Patterson. This is The Revolution. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night.